Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll show you how to update the firmware in your OWC solid state drive using the USB bootable updater. This utility allows you to update the firmware on your OWC SSD if you replaced your optical drive with an OWC data doubler, or if your computer never had one in the first place, such as with the MacBook Air. Please note that this updater does not support Bluetooth mice or keyboards. You'll need a USB keyboard and mouse if you have a desktop system. Notebooks can use the built-in keyboard and trackpad with no problems. We've already backed up the data on our SSD and we are now ready to begin. The first thing we'll need to do is get some information about our system. Go to the Apple menu and select About This Mac. In the window that appears, click the More Info button. If you're running 10.6.8 or earlier, System Profiler will open. In 10.7 or later, you'll need to click on the System Report button in the secondary box that pops up to access the same information. Once the system information is available, select the hardware heading in the left column. On the right, find the model identifier and write it down. Ours is Mac Mini 4.1. Next, look down the left side for SATA device information and select it. On the right, find your OWC SSD and write down the revision number. Ours is 506ABBF0, but yours may be different. You can now close out the system information. Open up a browser window and go to www.maxsales.com slash SSD firmware. We will want the first firmware updater listed. Double check to make sure it's compatible with your model computer. We're using a Mac Mini 4.1 so we can proceed with the next step and click on the link. Next, make sure the firmware update is compatible with your SSD model. We have an Electra 3G SSD, so it's compatible. Finally, scroll down to the Do I Need to Update section and make sure your firmware revision falls into the category for updating. Our revision is 506ABBF0, while the latest version at this time is 520ABBF0, so we need to update. Since all three criteria are met, we can download the updater. Once the file is downloaded, you can close out your browser window and open your downloads folder. There, you'll find a zip file which you'll need to expand. This will give you a folder with two items inside, a readme file and a DMG file. Drag the DMG to your desktop and you can close the downloads folder. Next, launch disk utility. Connect your USB flash drive to your Mac and wait for it to show up in Disk Utility. Once it does, select it in the left column, then click the Partition tab on the right. Set the partition layout to one partition. Make sure the format is MS-DOS or FAT. Then, click the Options button and make sure the partition map is set to Master Boot Record. Then, click Apply. Tell it to partition when prompted. After your flash drive has been formatted, go to the Restore tab on the right. Drag the disk image you downloaded earlier into the Source field. Then, drag the volume you just created, which is underneath the device name, into the Destination field. Click the Restore button, and then the Erase button. If asked, enter in an administrator's username and password. Then, wait while the drive formats. This may take a few minutes. Once the process completes, you can close up Disk Utility and shut down. With the USB flash drive plugged in, start up your computer holding down the Option key on your keyboard. Eventually, you'll reach a screen which will show all bootable drives attached to your computer. Select the icon named EFI Boot, then click the upwards facing arrow underneath it. You'll be presented with a list of model IDs. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to select your model number. Ours is Mac Mini 4.1, yours might be something else. 
Once you've selected your model Mac, hit return and the installer will load. Once the installer has loaded, read through the license agreement, then click Accept to continue. The updater utility will automatically launch and find all the OWC SSDs installed. In our case, we only have the one Electra installed. If your firmware needs updating, it'll be indicated in the State column. Simply make sure the drive you want to update is highlighted, then click the Update button. After a moment, the firmware will be updated. Once all your drives have been updated, a dialog box will appear and you can click it to shut down. Your OWC SSD's firmware is now up to date.